This is the production model of the PidZoom Universal Helmet Mirror. And I'm gonna attach it to one of my helmets. Stay tuned. How you doing, Duff here? Yes, this is the production uh, helmet mirror from PidZoom. There's been a number of people that got like the early pre-production models to test. I believe Marty was one of them actually. I was not in that group, although I have gotten some other PidZoom, some other PidZoom products to test early. The helmet mirror was not one of them. What's cool about this is it's very flexible as far as this mounting options, although I've never had one, but I have seen people um, test this. I think the early models were actually 3D printed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually install it on this, on my open face, full face, but triple eight helmet that I've had a Amazon bike mirror on forever. Um, so I think that is going to be my helmet of choice to upgrade to the pit zoom. So let me, I'm gonna take the old mirror off first. It's, it's funny, this is the, the um, helmet that I was wearing when I rode in the tropical storm a month or so ago. The, um, the screws that I have to install this mirror are rusted. And I would assume that is the reason. That is the reason for the rust. Okay, easy enough. Let's move forward. Okay, so let's take a look at what's in the box here. You have the mirror unit itself, but then you have all of these different options for length for the mirror based on what I had on here before, I'm gonna probably use the longest one, but it's cool. You know, you got, you got a shorty, a medium, and and a long, a long one, which I have right here. You have a number of different mounting posts as well that have their own 3M tape. And then this has, you have additional 3M tape. Wow, we got 3M tape for days here. Wow, cool, okay. So I'm not quite sure what the difference, these, okay, these are different sizes as well, maybe? Well, that looks the same. Let's see what these, okay, that one's definitely a little stubby one for a tight fit. This one looks totally different and you have different mounting tape for that. I'm not quite sure. Okay, so this is like curved, I guess. I'm not quite sure what this part is for. Let me, uh, let me just look at the directions quickly. Okay, in the instructions, they give examples of mounting with different type of helmets. Like right here is a helmet that looks like my LS2. Here's a bike helmet. And this is a helmet similar to what I have. And they are recommending mounting it off the, uh, off the sun visor up here. So, and using the, using the multi-purpose base, many top vent, okay. Okay. So it's, it appears to be recommending to use, <clears throat> use something, or maybe the in-betweener, I, I don't know, let's see. Something like that. So let me, uh, let me do a little experimentation here and see which looks the best to me. Cool thing about this design is it's a ball and socket setup. So if you, whoops, I just dropped something. Um, if, if you uh, were in an accident, um, this can just break away instead of your mirror breaking. Uh, and it is plastic as opposed to like metal. Mine is metal that I had on here before. So it would uh, prevent the mirror from becoming an object that could possibly impale you. Now I have to figure out what, what just dropped on the floor. Okay, so I am thinking about using a mount point right about there, mounting it like that. And then this can, this can come down into my side of view pretty easily. So, all right, let me, Get this ball joint in here. Bruh. Shit. What's popping out is a little nut that is used to tighten this up. There's a little nut in here. Oh shit. Bruh. I'm having some issues right now. Having some issues right now. All right, get it. No. Bruh. Okay, got it on. So now if I go like that and I would adjust it down. How far can I go down? Oh, that's not really that far. You go like, Bruh. oh my God. Wow, this really is modular, holy crap. Everything just kind of snaps together. Okay, like that would be better. All right, so that's the way I need to go. All right, so I'm gonna take off the two-sided tape. Uh, let's make believe that I wiped this down with isopropyl alcohol ahead of time, this area. I don't think it's dirty. Not dirty enough to cause a problem. And then we're just gonna, 
I'm gonna stick this bad boy on here. It's high quality, it's VHB 3M tape, which is the good stuff. So now I can do that, I can do that. So once you have it where you want it, you can kind of tighten up the thumb screws there, thumb screws there, and let me put it on. Perfect. Yeah, that's nice because it's, it's a bigger mirror than what I'm used to. I, I can see more, so that is very nice. Um, it's more adjustable by far. Uh, what I had before was very, I mean, it adjusted, but not like this. And the fact that it will come apart if necessary, if, 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 if there's a, some sort of strike on this, it will be okay, which is cool. And I have all these extra parts if I need them. Like if something would get broken, I can just uh, use my spare parts to um, be back in business. So that's kind of awesome too. So maybe all I want to do is, I don't know, do I want to go out for a ride? What time is it? 7.11. Maybe I'll go out for a real quick ride on the uh, Master V4, which is on the floor behind me, and uh, see, see how it feels. Uh, Master V4 is as good as any wheel to test this on. I'll be back. Two hours later. Works great. Works great. All right, all right. I just got back from a test drive, uh, test ride. Uh, longer than uh, I originally expected because it was so much damn fun. I was on my Master V4, which you probably can't see. It's right behind me here. Master V4, which I haven't taken out in a while. Man, I've just, I, I forgot how fun that wheel is. So easy to cruise at speed. I was, I, I got up to, I don't know, low 40s wheel speed, uh, which wasn't smart because I only have on my helmet and my wrist guards, but I, I don't know. Living, living, living on the edge, right? But anyways, Master V4 feels so good. Such a good wheel. Mirror is outstanding. I would say that this mirror is near perfect uh, compared to what I've been using for uh, the majority of the last eight years. This, look at the difference in, in field of view between this and this. Field of view is great, easy to see, easy to install, safe because it's made out of plastic and, and breakaway ball joints, flexible, you have all these different uh, mounting options with it. It's great. Uh, to be quite honest, I like it enough that I might want to put one of these on every one of my uh, my road helmets. Seriously, it, it's it's that good. So yeah, I might be spending some money with PidZoom uh, in the near future. So anyways, guys, that's all I have. Um, I, I know there's been lots of people that review this mirror and, and as far as I know, it's been pretty much universally positive. Uh, so I'm just adding to that as well. The mirror is great, and, and as I'm a, I'm a very long time rear view mirror user, there's some people that, that don't uh, do it. For me, if you're riding on the road primarily, like I do, it's a huge advantage to be able to see what's behind you. So you, you just, you, you, you have an extra, why well, it's going weird? You have an extra, uh, an extra, you have extra awareness of your surroundings, and that's never a bad thing. What is going off the light? It just went dim. All right, well, okay, well, we've got the mood lighting going on now. That's great, right? So anyways, guys, that's all I have. If you found this video interesting, please think about giving it a big thumbs up. I think I might have a PidZoom affiliate link. That's a look. I'll, I, I, if I do, I'll, I'll lift it, list it with the affiliate link. If I don't, I will list it just as the link because I think it's that good. And I know they were doing the introductory pricing for a period of time, $19.99, but I think the regular price is, is it $29.99 or $39.99? I don't know. So I'm not sure if you can still get special pricing, but uh, click on the link and you'll find out. So, uh, like I said, that's all I have for now. If, if you found this video interesting, please think about giving it a big thumbs up. If this is your first time visiting the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you're gonna subscribe, you hit the notify bell that's over there somewhere. Feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below. Do you ride with a rear view mirror? Um, if you have, you might wanna consider this one because uh, I, I, I cannot believe how much more uh, I enjoy having a mirror like this compared to what I've been used to. Huge thanks to my channel members. Uh, last time I checked, I have 23, I believe, or 24 channel members. They're over there as well. And uh, I, I just and if you made it to this point in the video, thank you. Um, if you want if you want to let me know you made it to the um, this point in the video, put a put a hashtag PidZoom in your comment. Hey, lights back. Weird. Uh, put hashtag oh, oh, lights gone. 
put hashtag PidZoom in your comments so I know you made it to the, <laughs> to the end of the video and, and uh, ignore the lights that are going off and on right now. I might need to get a new fixture at some point. So anyways, guys, that's all I have for now. Hope you have a great week. And until next time, Duffman out. I apparently have ghosts in my lights. What are they trying to tell me? What are you trying to tell me, ghosts? <laughs>